through here and one more oh no the you're supposed to go for the single all right either way we will be hitting with blizzard lalo in the clan world league hitting through 10 11 through 14 here's the first base number 27 let's take a look at our army we have five invis and the thing about 10 11 is you don't have to worry about taking out the town hall with your blimp super wizards in this case i'm going to try to take out a section where i can kind of help force the funnel for my lalo so let's take a look at a circle here right let's go ahead and drop a circle onto this base here and then we want to kind of cut out a section of this base and if i send the blimp like this into this eagle like if i take out this section with the blimp then i could send my heroes maybe into the single but it'll be hard to kind of get into the single because of how isolated it is right and then i had to like fly my way through here and that's going to be very annoying so what i've decided to do is send the blimp and land it right about here then i could take the single down right so if i can send a straight line blimp goes here and then the super wizards can help take out all of this the two expos the single all of that goes down and then essentially this will be here now what I like to send my king and queen into the enemy eagle and the uh, queen. More uh, essentially, I want to take the enemy queen down, but I can get a bonus of the eagle art artillery as well. So if my Lalo can take, or not my Lalo, my heroes can take out this, then my Lalo can essentially fly its way down and around this way of the base. But notice how the sweeper is. This sweeper will be gone from the super wizards. The other one's pointing that way. So we don't have to worry about this, but we do have this clan castle down on the bottom side, which is full of troops, 35 troops here. So I'll drop a balloon down here to test for troops. I'll then, if there's a lot of archers, I'll drop a giant down here, pull the CC down south with some archers, and then the baby dragon poison spell will kill that clan castle off. And at least that's the plan. So right, we're in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drop a balloon to see what's inside the CC. And we've got an E-Dragon in here as well. So I'm gonna drop the uh, Archer to pull out the uh, year, that troop there. And then drop this uh, Poison Spell onto here with a Baby Dragon to kill this off. All right, now we're gonna go and get, uh, so that once this, hold on, I gotta make sure the E-Drag shot goes through. And the balloon is dying. Okay, balloon will die anyways. Okay, no worries. So we can go with an ice hound, or an ice hound, a lava hound through here, and then the blimp will come like this. I like to drop two balloons behind the blimp. Let's see if it makes it into here. It's going, it's going, and the invis rage right through here, we land. All right, perfect. So now we can go with another invis through here. All right, hold on, I gotta make sure this stuff goes down. Then we're gonna go drop a giant here. Let's go and drop another invis. We're gonna go wall break through here and one more oh no the you're supposed to go for the single all right either way drop an ice golem through here and then the queen all right let's drop some minions over here all right so we're gonna move our way i guess we got the eagle so we don't have to worry about that but time drop the hound we're gonna move our way around king's ability like this we're gonna freeze that drop some minions so our hound doesn't pop instantly drop another hound down here as we're lolloing around with the minions as we can continue our way through. Let's drop a haste through here. Look at our queen. Continue our way up top while the balloons are coming in the bottom side, all working together through here. Let's go ahead and freeze this up right through here to protect the balloons a little bit more. Make sure your minions are down because if they're not, then you're going to time fail. Drop a haste just like this. Continue our way around. Warden ability, not yet. We can go ahead and pop ward ability now right through there. Drop an archer, drop a minion. And yeah, so the blimp took that down. But once we start hitting at the higher town halls, we're going to have to use our blimp for the town hall because of the town hall fighting back. Town 11, we don't have to worry about that. But the town hall 12, 13, 14, which we're just about to be hitting just after this attack, is where we do have to worry. So there we go. Got a little bit different of value than I thought I was going to get with the blizzard. But that's okay because now we are going to be jumping into... Well, now at 12, this is where we are going for the town hall. And I've decided to send the blimp here. Why? So let's go in again, drop, draw a circle up for this base. And the town hall has to be included in this portion. So what I'm going to do is send the uh, blimp into here. But I need to drop a hound to protect through this. Because I can also get some air expos as well if i send the blimp through here right so i'm gonna go and land the blimp like this we're gonna grab the town hall grab an expo grab this the chain will also kill this air defense most likely so this is kind of the wedge that we're taking out like this drop a few balloons behind the blimp the grand warden altar will go down as well so now we need to send our heroes king and queen to go for what the 
enemy queen. So here she is. So we need to find a way to get the king to go through here, wall break. So maybe like use a wizard or baby dragon to funnel and then break through here with our king queen to take out this section. And then our Lalo will come in either two directions, either this way or it will come this way. Depends on what my heroes get value wise. I'm thinking more or less, hmm, probably my Lalo will follow this direction because there's a lot of stuff over here. I'd rather warn ability through more defenses than less defenses on that side. So that's kind of the goal. We'll end up seeing what we got. All right, here we go. We are in. Let's make sure this warden is set to air. Get the hound ready. And inside of our blimp, we've got the barbarians and super wizards. The barbarians are test for giant bombs. That's kind of why we got that there. So let's go with the hound, the blimp behind. Uh, some balloons go into here, but let's see if we land Invis, Rage, boom, land right through here. We got another Invis. Super Wizards, go for the Town Hall. Come on, Super Wizards. There we go. Grabbing the Town Hall. Where are they going to go next? They're going to go off to the left side over there, so let's make them invisible there because they go to the single. E-Dragon pops. Single's going down, but let's go and drop the King like this. All right, so sing. Okay, it doesn't go down there. We'll drop a, ooh, you know, I need to make sure this king goes in towards this single target inferno. How do I make sure that happens? King, come on. Drop some minions to help clear this. We got some balloons. We need a single, we need to take this down, drop a baby dragon here, drop the ice golem, and then the queen like this. Okay, so we're moving in, ice golem as well. We're gonna freeze this, and there's the poison for this e-dragon and balloon. All right, there we go. King is going in. Come on, queen, follow him behind. And let's start this Lalo. We can't wait. Can't. Uh, we have to move the king into here as they're continuing their way around. A warden's got to go. Some minions. Another hound uh, right about now as we continue our way through. Queen is there looking fine as we continue our way. Eagle artillery. Uh, the queen broke through that wall. That's good. Come on, drop some more minions. Eagle artillery hits the hound. We're all good, looking safe. We got another balloon that we could use, some minions. All right, what can we freeze? What can we freeze here? We got a single, no worries here. That, pop warden ability through this. Do I have some headhunters? The king is gonna die, so the headhunters can just clean up. But we have the freezes to utilize and drop some headhunters over here. And there we go. Plenty of spells, but you saw we took down the town hall with that blimp, and then we lolled up and around while our heroes continued to walk to the right side essentially for that queen. So uh, don't need those spells right there. Look at that queen. Still alive with that warden up and around. But if you do the Blizzard, Lalo, Ant Town Hall 12 or higher, you're going to want to most likely be going for that Town Hall. If you don't take the Town Hall, then your heroes have to do that. But there we go. So now we're jumping to Town Hall 13. For Town Hall 13, again, it's going to follow kind of the same strategy at Town Hall 12 is where I'm going for that Town Hall to take that down. Let's create a straight line for the Town Hall. Which direction do we want to go? That is the question. So first things first, we have to look at where the sweepers are. So where is sweeper number one? Well, we got a sweeper here and we got a sweeper there on that side. So they will essentially push you back like this. So how do I take this Town Hall down? Do I fly all the way across? to land here so I can go for the eagle in the town hall? Maybe. Do you think I can make it is the question. With the sweeper that's pushing back, maybe I could. That would be a lot to get through, but I have to deal with the CC most likely early on. That's the problem. So if I'm thinking about it with a circle through here and we will send the blimp probably landing right about here. Why? Because then we can grab a scatter shot. We can grab the town hall. We can get an air expo. So if we send the blimp in and take out this section right through here, now our heroes can go in for the eagle and the royal champion. Now that town hall 13, you have to worry about those two air targeting heroes. So I want to send my king and queen into this section. Royal champion can probably go into that. And now the Lalo has an option of either starting this way or starting this way to the top side. If I Lalo from the top side, it's most likely going to be a time fail because I have to wait for my heroes to get the value. If I Lalo this way, it's less likely a time fail, but it might be a little bit harder to deal with a sweeper pushing down this way. So that's the issue. I'm going to have to decide on the fly which way I'm going to come in, but 
I'm thinking this way is not going to be too bad because I'll just fight the sweeper. I could freeze the scatter, freeze the sweeper all together so I can get a lot of value with the free. So I may just come down that way. So let's go ahead and go ahead and attack. But hold on before I attack. One thing is how, what do I do? Do I drop a hound like this and then a blimp behind? I could do that, but I think it's better value to drop the hound down here. It's going to be a little awkward. It's going to come in at this angle to pull more traps here to protect the blimp. Rather, because if the hound flies by itself here, then it doesn't pull any of this area of traps. So if, and the blimp's got to travel this way anyways. So if I send the hound this way, it'll pull all these traps potentially here and the blimp will be able to fly over protected. That's why I'm dropping it at an angle. So let's go and jump into this. So here we go with the hound. So coming through here, we got to make sure we get a straight line with the blimp will be over there. Okay, here goes the hound like this, a few balloons and then the blimp coming in. All right, so you see this blimp and then we drop some balloons to go for the archer tower. There's a sneaking air mine. We're making our way through, in we go, in we go, in we go, and Invis Rage land. Boom, we land perfectly. Okay, so now we gotta go with an invisibility spell to go for the scatter shot. We'll take that down. We're taking this. Okay, let's go. Oh, Invis here so they can go. Oh, they're killing the queen. Now they gotta go for the CC. I wanted them to go for the air expo, but let's see. Kills one dragon and kills some air skellies. And one more, one more. Yes, we get that. So nice job. So now I'm actually dropping this king down here. I'm not going to use a poison. Why? Because this this dragon is basically dead. So drop a wizard for it. So now that we didn't take out any other single, now that means that I need to send my heroes into the single. So let's drop an ice golem here. The Lalo is now actually going to come over the eagle since my heroes aren't going to be able to grab that. So the king's going to follow into here. Don't need to burn his ability just yet. Royal Champion is going to go through here. We killed off both enemy queen and royal champion, so we don't have to worry about this. As the RC is going around, drop the hound, and we're going to fly our way with the warden. Drop some minions behind because a lot of times people forget to get that cleanup. Here's the next hound flying through. I've decided to fly behind the sweeper so it doesn't push me back as we continue our way through. We got plenty of freezes. Drop some headhunters for that defensive king. Drop some balloons around, and of course, the minions, right? moving our way in and relatively simple just drop some freezes as we continue our way around we got a more freeze spells all right let's go and freeze the Teslas as we go warden go follow the balloons warden what are you doing pop the rc ability skips across we got a multi we can pop the warden ability some more minions down south some archers we got another one there and yeah plenty of stuff left up for us plenty of balloons the spells so that's why i came at that angle so that i can try to uh, be able to survive taking out the town hall and plus there was uh, the buildings were touching each other so there was no real risk of giant bombs taking out my super wizards and things like that so there we go we're good so far from 11 through 13 but let's close it off at town, at town 14 we're gonna be actually going for the number one base right here and this is still kind of a town of 14 except it's been upgraded to 15 with no monolith no rage or no spell towers i should say so now how do we do this do we send the blimp through here so we can grab the eagle do we send the blimp through here do we send the blimp which angle do we send the blimp well i want to send the blimp somewhere where i'm not going to get pushed back by the sweeper so there and there which kind of rules out this area so now I'm gonna send the blimp most likely somewhere over here because one, I can grab the eagle if I come over here or I can grab a scatter. And let's see, if I land a blimp through here, I land on top of this, I'll be able to grab the town hall, the CC, probably the eagle, the air defense, but I might not be able to grab this multi, right? If I land over here, I could grab the scatter, I could grab the queen, I could grab the multi. So now the thing is, with this blimp, I get some really important value of the enemy queen. If I landed over here, I couldn't get any hero. Because if I landed here, I would have to pick and choose where I would send my uh, king or queen into the enemy royal champion or the enemy queen, and then have headhunters kill the other. But if I send my blimp into here, now I could take out the multi, take out the town hall, take out the enemy queen, take out all of this. And then we can send our heroes to go into this section to go grab the eagle. And then our Lalo could come through this way and take out the enemy RC 
right right away. We would not want a Lalo down here because one, we would have to fight this king in order to get to the enemy RC next. Yeah, we will have a sweeper point this way, but it will be worth it to move through this side, at least is my guess. So we're going to send the blimp over here, land like this so we can take out that multi-target inferno. So here we go. All right, so we got to get the hound to be protecting this blimp here. So hound goes like this. So straight line. So hound, hound, blimp, couple balloons to take out arch tower. This is what I love to do. Uh, all right, perfect. The hound pulled the traps right there. They're moving. Invis, Rage, we landed. Oh, we might not be able to reach this town hall here. Another Invis. Okay, but we're going to take out a lot of value through here with these super wizards. Another one through here. Queen's dying. Okay. Another Invis. This is why I took five Invis. So we're really taking out all this value. Another Invis. They're going for the town hall. Okay, that last Invis saved the day. Town hall just goes down. That was the right call there. So let's get the king like this. He's going to run up. Now we're gonna use a baby dragon to funnel. So look at this king. He's moving his way this way, right? So we need to get the queen right behind to go for the wizard tower. We need a, wi uh, a wizard here to force this queen up. So the baby dragon can go for this. So we can wall break. Oh, let's go and drop an ice golem to tank. Wall break for this, and a baby dragon, right? So they're gonna make their way all together into this section to help clear all of this. So that's the value of the baby dragon to force the troops in. They grab this, and then once the eagles kind of go down, then the Lalo will come through here. I'm trying to multitask through all this. It's not easy. Oh, yeah, I also have a royal champion. So I'll send the RC through here. This is going down. Drop a minion as we continue our path and flight around. And let's drop some balloons, some of you, headhunters, and that warden. All right, we're moving in around this base. Go and drop a freeze onto this scatter. All right, as, as we continue our way around, another hound. As we continue through here, we have the balloons like this with a warden ability to protect everything. More balloons, minions, of course, and then we can go ahead and freeze this. Look at the value that we're pathing through here. Drop another haste, another freeze. The enemy queen is up, so we'll just drop you. Drop some balloons to direct target the wizard tower to distract that on the backside as we make our way around. So you can see, we do have a minute left, so I could have actually been a little bit more patient if I wanted to. Pop the RC ability, down these defenses go. It's basically a Town Hall 14, just with a little few more upgraded defenses. But because I took five invis, that saved this whole attack. So five is kind of on the safer side, and I felt like it was needed because I needed the Super Wizards really to stay alive and get all the chain value there. So there we go, getting the three star here. And it was pretty great CWL here. Been playing with WSA for the last few months. So definitely a clan you guys should check out as I'm going to bring a lot more types of these videos for the channel. Leave the attack you want to see next. Hopefully you enjoy.